and welcome to Savvy Sense. I am Cassie and today I am going to be talking with you about my 2022 sinking funds. I am so excited. I truly believe that sinking funds are a game changer when it comes to your budget. Because of them, we have been able to afford things that we never would have been able to afford without having done sinking funds. We paid for our wedding with sinking funds and vacations and truly the sky is limitless whatever you need sinking funds are your answer so today in this video i'm going to be talking with you about how i set mine up how i transfer them around and just everything sinking fund related if you like this video go ahead and give it a like and we would love for you to subscribe to our channel now let's get into it so this is a snapshot of my entire monthly budget but for today's video, we are going to be focusing on this square right here. So I'm going to go through and figure out which sinking funds I want to put in for this month and this year, and then how much I'm allocating. I have $2,200 left. So I am going to start with the most important stuff meaning bills. So first, property taxes. Our property taxes are not included in our mortgage, so we pay those separately. Next would be property insurance, car insurance. I'm telling you, car insurance has been so huge for us because every time we would get that bill, it would be so stressful. Car registration, so birthday or holiday. So that'll include like birthday presents. Um, we celebrate Christmas, so like Christmas presents. So anytime we have that, we do a home improvement category, which has been such a lifesaver for me because like say I need to go to Home Depot and pick something up. I don't have to worry um, and figure out how to work that into like my general budget category. So that's been really helpful. It's, it was helpful when we had a leak in our roof and we were able to just take the money from that and do that. The next is pet. We save for our dog Max. So over here you'll see we have pet insurance and that's different because it's paid on a monthly basis. This is more for like um, medications that he might have or vet vis visits that he might have. Uh, car maintenance. This has been <laughs> huge. So for whatever reason, my husband's tires, he goes through tires like crazy. So this category is huge. We use it for when we get our oil changes, whenever we need any maintenance for our car. It's been super helpful. Okay, so extracurricular activities for each of my kids. I started this a couple years ago and um, it's been so nice because like I said, if they want to do something, I can just pull the money from that and I'm not stressing out about it. We're also saving for a vacation right now. And then we also are trying to save for a vacation house. Um, and then I used to have a, so this is a fluid thing. So I actually used to have a category that said glasses because um, I wear glasses and I wanted to get a new pair. So with our insurance, my contacts are always covered, but not my glasses and whatnot. So I created a sinking fund to basically pay for that once it was paid for, which it has been. I don't need to include that. But just so you know, sinking funds are fluid. So say something comes up and you need to pay for it, you can just make a new tab and um, pay for it for as long as you need and then take it out whenever you're done. All right. So property taxes are $660 a month. How I do that is I basically, we pay them twice a year. So we take the amount that we pay per year and then times that by two and then divide it by 12. And then that'll give you that number. Um, same thing with property insurance. $84. Car insurance is, let's see. Cool. 
right. And then car registration is 35 a month. Now, that's it for basically like bills for here. So this stuff, th this stuff right here is like concrete. Like you can go back and look and see how much exactly you need to be saving. And if you want to save more, that's great if you have that in your budget. The rest of this, well, with pet, it's a little different. But the rest of this is basically, if you have extra money, then you can put this toward here. So I kind of am going to play with the rest of this and see. So you can actually go back and see what you spent last year on this stuff. It'll take a little bit of time. I'm going to say 200 for this one. For home improvement, I'm going to say 100. For pet, I'm going to say 150. Car maintenance, 150. Extracurriculars, I'm going to say 50 each. And then vacations are going to be 200. Now I have $396.67. I have a couple options and I have one more category left. I have a couple options. I think what I want to do is buffer this a little bit more. So I'm going to say 150 for that. And then um, for home improvement, I'm going to say 150. We do have a vacation coming up, but I'm going to take the rest of this and put it towards the vacation house. So now I'm at zero. So now I know when I get paid for my paycheck and go ahead and check out um, both Emily and I both did a uh, 2022 budget breakdown. So you can see how I, how I um, manipulate this out a little bit more once we get paid. Um, so now what I do when I get paid, I take this money and I transfer it over to one specific account that I have that keeps all of our sinking funds. And then I come here and I keep track of it. So this is how I do that. Now, if I have money left over from last year, say I have $100 left over from 2021, I would put that and then I would say plus, and then I come over here and I just grab each of these totals. So now we've done that. Now you'll see here I have medical and I don't have that here. That's because at the end of last year, we needed to pay for more medical than we had in our HSA. So for now, I'm just going to zero this out. And if later on down the year, I need to add a line here, I will do that. And that's what's great about sinking funds. Like I said, they're fluid. You can stop doing stuff. If you want to stop putting money into it, you can start adding money at any time. It's great. So I am going to take this $100 out there. Okay, so now you can see this equals this amount. So we know, and then the dividend gets paid like every month. And then I just add that there to make sure all of my accounts equal each other. Now say it's property tax time and it's time to pay your property taxes. Say you've been saving up and you get a bill. So the, what I do is I go, I pay the bill online, and then I come here and say it's $660. I would subtract the $660 from here, and then I would take the money in my bank account from my sinking fund account and transfer it over to my checking account. I also, so say, so say now it's February, I just copy this over and then say I get paid again the same amount in February and then I'll just do that. I'll add it. I'll make a February tab and then I will keep adding. So then it keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And what's nice about this is you have a snapshot of what your year looks like and because you're keeping track of all of these transactions every time, say you get a pet bill and it's $100, so you subtract $100.
So you can go through and see each transaction as well. So I love this because it's such a great snapshot. Plus I love this up here because you're keeping track of all your assets. You can see how it's growing or like with stocks, they fluctuate. So you can see them going up and down. I just really like this a lot. It's something I instituted a couple of years ago. I didn't always do this and I really like it. So if you want this, I can go ahead and make this available. If people just let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them below. I hope this was helpful for you. And here is to a great 2022. Thank you.